Hey, what's up everyone? This is Zarina, your Upland neighbor, bringing the floor today, August 17th, in all Upland cities. Please hit the like and subscribe, and feel free to leave a comment. Also, you can hit me up in the game Upland through the chat. I am Blue Rain in game, B-L-E-U-R-A-I-N, and let's go ahead and get to it. So, I do have a little bit of a video showing um, some street views, like a street tour my own street tour of Tokyo. So Upland does its own like tour, right? This is how tours really should be done, if you ask me. So like you take an actual look inside the street view, spin it around, look and see what's up. Here you can see this person, it looks like a dentist's office, right? So <laughs> this is why I tell people like, watch out for those tags, because look at this. Um, oops, I've hit the wrong property, you'll see me go back. There it is, it says 7-Eleven on that tag, and we open it up and it is definitely not 7-Eleven, right? So tags don't go off tags. Make sure you look at that street view. So here's another property that was nearby. I was like, oh, let's go ahead and take a look at this one. And, and this one, we also indoors it looks like here, but this had some pretty cool shopping experiences because, or a pretty cool shopping experience because it's these really nice rugs. Like these rugs are super high end. You can tell like looking at the, the designs, the intricacies of how it's made. Um, and I was like, this is probably a really high end rug store. I'm not sure how you say rug in Japanese, but this one, like it's got cool stuff. So. Even though, you know, in the Street View's interior, it's still a pretty nice property with those particular shopping items. Then I was like, okay, let's go sit. Let's go see if we can see Tokyo. Like, this is the actual tour. Where we look at a city that we've maybe never been to. I've never been to Tokyo. Never been in the neighborhood of Shibu... Shibu... No, I can't do it. Shibuya. <laughs> Shibuya. Um, I haven't been in this ward, in this city. And I was like, let me see what it looks like. I've never been to Japan. And so for me, this is like a first look at actually seeing what it's like to be in Japan and Tokyo. And I was like, my first impression is, wow, it's not that different from the States. Like, this could be a city in the US. It's not strikingly different where you're like, culture shock, right? It doesn't seem that way at all to me. It's like, it's got buildings. They look very much like buildings I would run into in any city in the US. California, for example, um, it almost reminds me a little bit of downtown LA, but not quite. But like these like glass buildings, and then there's a lot of these white type of buildings that are like kind of very bland and plain. And there's a lot of them. Like I toured a few different areas before making this video, and I'm just like, where? Okay, where are the single family residences, or does everyone have to live in a in building, like an apartment building type of structure, where they reside? Not that they're bad. I'm just curious. I have to see if I you know, keep touring myself around uh, Tokyo if I ever find anything. And I saw some people on the street and I was like, oh, that's interesting. You can, you know, see the locals and see what they're up to and how they hang. Um, and then I was like, let's just go back to this area and see if we can find anything else. And I didn't find anything else like too big. There's Shibuya. One thing I was noting, or Shibuya. One thing I was noticing was that some of the street signs definitely have English on them. Or at least like, you know, English lettering. And a lot of the numbers I saw were like, Arabic numbers like the numbers we use here in the US and so it's definitely I'm like this is very friendly for me like on the on the road there I'm not sure if you noticed that it's like a metropolitan so yeah so definitely that's cool Tokyo that's Tokyo for you let's go ahead and go to the floor the floor today I was expecting things to come a lot back up and they came you know, I feel like there's more green than there's red um, but there's still some places that I'm like what's happening like San Francisco dropping again seven dollars and 34 cents it's just sad to see um tokyo is on the list i couldn't find any on the um what's not minted prices on upxland.me but i could see on secondary we're around fifteen thousand six hundred forty two upix and you know people are flipping fast i myself did only get one property as far as minting and then i purchased two on secondary around 14.5 k each just because I want to go ahead and have three properties in Tokyo for that potential collection of three in a city. So that's what I went for, and I the one property I minted for 70, it was almost 75k. I minted it because it's a bookstore, and I I plan <laughs> hopefully I plan on hopefully doing some events with bookstores in, in Upland once there seems to be an, an avenue an avenue for me to actually use my properties 
uh, for something other than being just properties in Upland. So we'll see what happens. Anyways, happy hunting. I hope everyone did okay in Tokyo, and I'll see you guys in Upland.